What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here, with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Intel HD Graphics 630, which is a typical Intel HD Graphics iGPU. It has 24 unified shaders, it uses system RAM as the RAM of course, and it has a burst frequency of 1100MHz in my case. I'm also using the latest drivers for it as of the making of the video. As for CPU power we have an Intel Core i7. So don't worry about CPU bottlenecks, I under vaulted it by minus 100 megavolts to reduce temperatures. We also have 8 gigabytes of RAM in single channel mode, although 4 GB should be enough for the game that we'll be testing, as well as a 1 terabyte hard drive for the boot partition and another 1 terabyte one on which the game is installed. As for operating system we're using Atlas OS 20H2. You can find a full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is New Gundam Breaker, which is allegedly a crappy game, and I don't think $50 is a reasonable price for it, but it is a game that a person requested me to test back in the good old Intel Core i9 N2840 days, and since I promised that I will cover the quote unquote never fulfilled requests in a community post some time ago, well, there you go, so let's get straight to the point now.
次のクエストもどんどん行きましょうクエストクリア一つずつ潰していきましょう倒伐ターゲットが指定されましたさあどちらのチームが先に倒伐することができるのか